hey guys it's issy welcome to my channel today i'm bringing you a day in the life vlog watch to see what i got up to last thursday whilst i studied on campus and get some insight into the typical day in the life of a first year medical student at the university of warwick if you like what you see hit like subscribe and turn on your notifications enjoy when my alarm went off at eight i spent a minute contemplating whether i should have a lion but the work actually wasn't gonna do itself so <laughs> I got up and made myself granola and coffee. It's like the quickest thing I could think of. And I really wanted to get to the library for nine o'clock and time was running out. So I chose to go for granola. So I actually ended up leaving my comm at 9.15 which is after the time I said I'd be at the library but this in itself was an achievement. Me getting up in the morning to go study somewhere is a big deal. So I was proud of myself. So today I decided that I was going to vlog my day because I'm actually like going onto the main campus to study. I did this yesterday because one of my friends said that they were studying on campus and it was actually really good considering that I came late like at 2 p.m because like I just overslept and I needed the rest but I'm gonna go there now and see if I can get a lot of work done because I've got quite a bit of catching up to do it's currently like 20 past nine to be fair I said that I wanted to get to campus at nine, but I think that was a bit ambitious considering I woke up at eight and it takes me ages to get ready. I'm gonna see if I can like catch the bus. I don't even know what bus I'm catching. I just kind of like walked out of my accommodation. As you can see, there's a lot of fog about and it's just like gloomy and it's just not nice. And yeah, and it's freezing as well. So I'm gonna put my mask back on because that actually keeps you a bit warmer. Luckily there was actually a bus as soon as I got to the bus stop, which is good. And that's actually very convenient. <laughs> Things like that don't happen to me all the time, actually. I thought I'd get here and I'd be like chasing after a bus. Like, I'll see if there are any empty spaces in like any of the rooms. Because yesterday I got like a room to myself. And because I have CBL today and I'm going to be talking, I don't want to be, be disturbing other people in their library. So. So I finally got to the main campus and guys, it was just cold and it was just empty and it wasn't very vibrant. But anyway, I saw one of these scooters and I got so excited, so excited. Do you know what, yeah? I've actually never ridden one of these scooters before. So I'm gonna ride one. And to be fair, the postgrad building where I wanna go is a bit of a trek. The campus is quite big. It wasn't actually that far, guys. I was just making up excuses to use the scooter. So I downloaded the Voy app and instead of going straight to the study hub, I decided that it was time to play. <laughs> I then decided that I was going to be a serious candidate and actually go to the study centre. That was just so fun. I think that's one of the most exciting things that's happened this week. <laughs> so I'm now at the postgrad building, which is the old sports centre, I think. And yeah, I'm just going to see if I can find a room. I eventually got to the study hub and scanned my card for track and trace. Thank you. Unfortunately, 
all the study rooms were gone by nine but I did find myself this really nice big red table to work at and yeah I loved it so I picked the red table. I got myself all set up at the table and I also brought my laptop stand which was actually really light and portable and if you guys want to check it out I've put the link in the description box below. So I started off my day in the library making some Anki cards on an LT workbook on ageing that we had been given to do earlier on in the block. On my way to the break room to do CBL I decided to show you guys this gigantic study room which you weren't allowed to have access to. I think it might be getting used for exams, I don't know but anyway I thought it was interesting. So I decided to come to this break room place because I knew it was somewhere where I could talk without disturbing other people that were studying. So yeah, um, I decided to come here. I was actually doing my last CBL case of block three. Block three was based on brain and behavior. So it was basically like a lot of neuroscience. I'm not gonna lie, overall I found it really interesting. In particular, the anatomy it was just like so interesting it was really really hard but very interesting but yeah i just can't believe that i'm more than halfway through my first year of medical school already time has flown by like i cannot believe it's two more blocks and then i've got my exams which has freaked me out a little bit but let's not talk about that yet So CBL had finally ended and I returned back to my big red table and continued with the LT workbook on ageing and making Anki cards. I'm not going to lie, at this point, I, all I was thinking about was food. I was hungry, but I was trying to get through this LT workbook, which was becoming long, very long. I've done some of the LT workbook which has taken me like almost three hours up together and I'm just halfway through so it's about two o'clock now and I'm gonna go and get some lunch because I'm so hungry and I just I just need to eat I think I'll walk this time because I realized yeah oh my gosh it's raining and of course this was a perfect opportunity for me to ride one of those voice scooters again sponsor me guys of course it's raining of course the weather's just rubbish but yeah i'm on campus now i had to use the scooter i thought i was gonna walk but i had to use the scooter because like yeah um it was just a quicker mode of transport And of course, it was only right for me to treat myself to some prep because I'd been working hard and I wanted to eat well. Thank you. So I'm gonna see if I can drive, well not even drive, yeah, ride my scooter with my coffee. I'm going to put it in this bag that my food is in and like see if it doesn't fall because I just can't walk in this rain to be honest. I'm getting soaked. Look at that. <laughs> Maybe not the brightest idea to carry the coffee in a bag whilst riding the scooter, but it didn't rip completely, so I guess it was worth it. Unfortunately, when I got back to the big red table, the ceiling was leaking because of the rain and I had to move. And to be honest, I was quite upset because I really liked my big red table. 
After sulking about the table a little bit, I then soldiered on with the LT workbook I was doing earlier. To be honest, at this point, I was getting very tired of it. So I was very happy when it got to 4.15 and we had the pharmacology quiz. As you can see, I am taking serious notes. This is because this quiz was a kick up the butt. I really need to go over my pharmacology because I didn't know a lot of it. After the pharmacology quiz, I went on a little wander and then I accidentally found a room that was empty. I was so shocked. I literally like ran to the other table, picked up my stuff and like ran to the room and just like dumped the stuff on the table. I was not about to lose this. I then continued with the same LT workbook I had started this morning. Like, the same one. This LT workbook is actually endless. It's actually endless. Like, I think it's taken me in total like four hours ish. With this block, I don't like a lot of the LT workbooks because it's just like really, like, it's just too much information. Just, you have to read through and stuff and it's just like it's just dull <laughs> it's just dull to be honest but i'm nearly there page 7 of 11 i can do this i'll probably have like a break and then continue i'm going to be calling one of my friends we're gonna like work together for like an hour or so i think she's gonna call me at six but yeah this is just um Current time is five past 11 and I'm just tired. To be honest, after that, I actually stopped with the workbook and decided to do some other bits of work and complete a few tasks I needed to do for BME Network. My friend called me at six and we worked over FaceTime. And to be honest, I find working with someone, even though they're not physically there, quite motivating, especially in this pandemic. And I was thinking that maybe I should do some study with me on my channel. Let me know if this is something that you'd find useful. At half seven, I decided that I was going to call it a day. I was exhausted and to be honest I checked the time and I was running late for the next bus so it was a bit of a rush getting out. <laughs> Luckily, I made the bus, so it was a nice feeling to just go straight on and not have to wait in the cold. I'm just gonna eat the leftover pizza from last night with Domino's, and then I'm gonna like do a few bits and bobs before I sleep. <laughs> By the time you come back, it'll be like new. <laughs> Hello, Domino's. Hello, Domino's. Hello, Domino's. Honestly, after that day studying, it was actually a top tier feeling to have a shower, get into bed and watch It's a Sin whilst eating leftover pizza. It was the best feeling ever. Like, I deserved it. So all in all, I think that today was actually a very successful day. Got up in the morning, went to campus and actually got a lot of work done regardless of the fact that I did not finish that workbook I got a lot more done on campus than I would have done in my room so I guess you can say I won guys thank you so much for watching this vlog I hope you enjoyed it let me know what you think of my day in a life vlog because this is my first one and I'd really love to hear your opinion guys don't forget to like subscribe 
turn on your notifications because the YouTube algorithm loves it and I would really love my channel to grow. All the best and see you in the next one.